everybody, what's going on? Uh, this is the Wildcasters talk show. What's going what? on, playboys and thought queens? <laughs> it's your homeboy, Easy Money Manny, coming to you live straight from Chicago. Here yeah. we go, here we go yeah. with our intros. Okay. First off, Take Andrew, over. go ahead and introduce yourself, Andrew. Hey, what's up, guys? I'm Andrew. Huge White Sox, Blackhawks, Bears, Bulls fan, Chicago native. How about you, Matt? Uh, yeah, pretty much same thing. Um, I like the Oregon Ducks. That's my college football team. You know, it's kind of random, but my uncle got me into them. Uh, huge White Sox fan. Uh, huge, huge Blackhawks fan, so I get really passionate about them. Other than that, not We've too had much. enough from you. All right. right. Uh, <laughs> yes, that, that was too much. All right, but, all right, all my little thoughts. If you know, I'm from Chicago, so obviously I'm a Cubs fan and a Blackhawks fan. Yeah, but obviously. I'm saying, nice I got to support. I got to support America's team, Dallas Cowboys. Oh, Here heck no. Here we go, baby. <laughs> we're all my Cowboys. We're all my Cowboy fans, man. Shout out to yeah, all none, the people. No Cowboy fans. Not, fans no Cowboy fans. Hello, 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 people from Milwaukee. Okay, wait, wait. Okay. I got the Bucks. I got the Bucks. Yeah, he's too, got the Bucks. Worry. He's got the Bucks. Don't worry, Giannis. We got everything. All right, the star of the show now. Kevin Gallagher. Yeah. Okay. The big man, old Coles, man. Coles. The Coles, man. All right. Head of the home department. What do you bring for us here, Kevin? He works at the candle department sniffing them. So we have a new thing on this new show that we're going to have a candle every week. We're going to introduce a new candle. This week's scent for our first show is Fruity Melon by Yankee Candle. The best candle out there. All right, let's see how it smells. What are you, feeling fruity today? Is that the deal? <laughs> that's that every day. That's every day. Yeah. That's that, okay, cool. Right. Hey, that's... I'm also a huge Packer fan as evidence oh. of the Aaron Rodgers statue. Yeah, in it's front all of us. day, baby. Let's get it. That's great. That's great. Screw you. <laughs> All right, so basically the premise of our show is we're a sports talk show, okay? Our main purpose is to entertain you because we're just four friends. Okay, my brother's part of the show as well. He's supposed to be the host. He got He's out busy it. tonight. Uh, let's not say that. Um, <laughs> you know, let's, let's hope not. But he's out, he's busy tonight, but um, we do mainly, we mainly do the talking when it comes to sports, and Manny and Kevin get quite heated, and they have some pretty Manny odd takes, Kevin. so I just, <laughs> I just have to step in and, you know, really bring some logic, and that's what Andrew brings to the table a lot of the time, As you can though tell we do get suit. very passionate, okay? So, um, we're going to give you... This guy thinks Curry is way better than LeBron. Yeah, I, I don't know how or why he thinks Never that, but that, he stated but that. And then after the times. 2019 finals, he suddenly does it to. Shut like, up! He doesn't just like stop Curry talking. Anymore. Okay, yeah. Yeah. let's let's get into the yeah, show, yeah, Manny. Okay, okay. Yeah. you got a time limit. You got a curfew that you got to be back. Remember? Yeah. Okay. Still a kid. So our first topic that we're going to introduce is initially when we planned this week's episode, um, the White Sox were kind of off to a slow start, and the Cubs were off to a really hot start. All uh, the White Sox have since turned that around, so now they're four and four, which makes me feel a lot better. And the Cubs, they're still off to a hot start. What are they? Six seven and two, two? Seven and two? Seven and two. They go off that uh, hot. Yeah. I mean, that doesn't make me very happy. But, um, I mean, Tyler short... Chadwick's been fast, like, yeah. out of the bomb. Like, he's been knocking. Kyle Hendricks had a great start, too. Yeah, I mean, um, the White Sox slow start, though. I saw a lot of good out of the White Sox. This year, again, just a reminder to my White Sox fans, this is a development year for us. I okay, mean, we're still just... in a rebuild. Exactly. So we're in year five of this rebuild, the final year. So next year is really when we're going to start to compete. This year with the expanded playoffs, I hope we get in. We deserve to get in. We have the talent to get in. There's no doubt about that. But um, it was just a bit of a slow start. We were also facing, which in my opinion, the best team in baseball right now, the Minnesota Twins. Okay, they hit the crap out of the ball. Max Kepler was just insane. Max Kepler, Nelson Cruz. Nelson I mean, that Cruz, whole Nelson line. Cruz, I mean, he just lines the White Sox every single time he played. There's, there's no break in that line where you can take a breath as a pitcher. Years. And so, I mean, that was a big reason for the slow start. We started to beat up on the Royals, which is good. we got to take care of those easy. I mean, that's a 10 game series we gotta take care of every single time. Oh, Detroit, yeah. I mean, Detroit's off to a little bit of a hot start as well. I mean, it's gonna be a weird, you know, um, it's gonna be a weird narrative and uh, dynamic of the season with the with it being 60 games as opposed to the normal 162. So when you get these hot or slow starts, it actually does matter. No. As opposed to like the Mariners Especially. always starting like 15, 15 and one two. or whatever, and then just dropping off the face of the earth. This year, it actually might matter. I mean, I mean the Marlins, the Mariners, and the Orioles, started, I don't think so. But uh, I mean, imagine if the Mariners start off the season fifteen to like they did last year. I mean, what what are you thinking as a fan then this year? That? Then they're in. I mean, I mean, they're in, right? You I guys expect in. they gotta be in then. Um, I mean, we're second place right now. I'm excited about our lineup. I read a stat yesterday. They had a thing. I was watching NBC said I was after the Sox game. They talked about we're the only lineup in history that have four straight Cuban players bat one through four. I mean, we're what's, changing the game that cool way too. What's cool about that? Well, why, why, why mention that? 
this is inter- interesting fact. <laughs> why why not mention the fact that they destroy baseball? Why is that their team? How about okay, well, that they're top top they're really How about that their bullpen is allowed zero or runs over thirteen I think is against Cleveland? Like is that is that That's, the four yes. Cuban is that is that less interesting than the Cuban batteries? I mean, the bullpen, no, but they're all hitting almost over three hundred. Not so. a Grandal. Grandal's off to a slow start. I hope you play McCann a lot. Now. After today he's but. hitting over three hundred. Okay, um Manny, what do you got to say about the Cubs? I know you're so gonna... far Cubs they're off to a hot start. Home runs, they're number four in the league. Uh RBI's number five, so obviously they're hitting the ball well. Uh, yeah, they're yeah, 72 that's what's right now. Bryant, though. What? Yeah, I mean, there's there's been some slow starts around the MLB. Chris yeah. Bryant being one of them. I think he was two for t- like 25. 24. Yeah. I mean, oh, Ronald Acuna, two, 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 one for 23 is strong. What's with Cody that? Cody Bellinger. Exactly. I mean, Christian Yelich, one for one, two for right. 24, whatever. I mean, I mean his long insane. hit was a home run against the Cubs, though. That is quite nice. I mean, we like that. We like that. Um, but, you know, like I said, it's it, it, it's baseball. So they didn't really have a regular spring training. So I think that's the excuse for a lot of these guys' yeah. slow starts. Yeah, the excuse like, for every you know, slow start. Right. And, and the hot starts. Even the hot starts. I mean, you know, like some of these younger teams. Like, Detroit, like Baltimore's just garbage. garbage. Baltimore's garbage. Like, they have no business being in the top of the AL East. But, um, you know, it, it, it's only been an eight-game sample, eight to ten-game sample for most of these teams. But, um, you know, I, I really have high hopes for the White Sox now after that last three game set against the Royals. I mean, our pitchers just looked good too. Like our starting pitching, they looked like a little sloshes. So right. I mean, Jolito's right. Cease, they Heichel. all settled in the second Gigan, time around. Gigan, yeah. Gonzalez, Gigan exactly. Gigan had a rough start and then a second game. Love to Rain see that. Like you out. mentioned, the bullpen. That's great because we don't have a good bullpen. And I think that's just kind of a lucky or hot start. I hope that's the trend. I mean, Aaron Bummer, but, Evan Marshall. Oh, no, no, Aaron Bummer is absolutely locked. There's no doubt about that. Yeah. Evan Marshall, he's solid. I think he's got potential where he can really develop. Jay Spry's been a little bumpy. Yeah, he started, he went ho- or started off slow last year, got hot towards the end, and he had one good, I think, relief against the Cle- Cleveland Indians, and then he allowed three runs yesterday. Well, I mean, they took away I'm the ex- lefty specialist position, which kind of really hurts Jay Spry because, I mean, he comes into those lefty-lefty matchups and absolutely dominates last yeah. year. Now with the pace of play rules changing, which I think is total crap anyway. Where you have to face at least three and three oh, batters that's or finish the inning. I mean, that's I mean, a good strategy, you know, against lefties and right-handers. Right, and what are you saving? Five minutes ultimately between all the mound visits. Yeah, it's and not. It's not it's really killing. Yeah, no. Yeah, I, I don't no, like that. Know, but um, you know what I learned today? He's a good arm in the board. How do you guys feel about MLB and the extra innings? That there's a man on second base. Like I think that's genius. Really, Why? you like that? Yeah, it's Why? fair. It'll make the game faster. Why do? Why does the game need to be faster? Why, why can't you because enjoy the strategy? Because like three and a half hours. Okay. What? Do you remember? Do you remember when all of us were watching the Dodgers and Astros? Was that? Was that? Um, no, 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 it was uh, Red Sox Dodgers. Red Sox Dodgers. Yeah, yeah, the eighteen inning game. game. I had my cross country conference like championships the next day. It was like two or two a.m. in the morning. My dad texted me, "You gotta get home for this." I'm like, "Dude, it's the eighteenth inning, right, right, the right, first right. game of the World Series. Like, you're telling me I can't and watch you left this right before the home run." I know. I looked right before the home run. I went to but, bed. I was like, "Shoot." Yeah, no, but, um, I mean, to us baseball fans, I guess it doesn't really matter because I'm obsessed with baseball. I know you are. Like, to Kevin and Manny who aren't maybe as into it, it can be boring at times. I mean, I'm one of the few that can literally just sit down even at home and watch a game. I mean, that's what I've been doing. I mean, I mean, with the 60 game season, I've been watching, like, every White Sox game so far except for today. Say, you know, Plus, if you today. think about it, with the sec- the guy at second base, it gives both teams pretty kind of a fair – or kind of a fair – well, I mean, it Chance depends also who's going to your lineup, you know? If you well, go 2, 3, 4, or Because you each, each team gets a guy on second base, right? Well, I said, well, like I well, said, yeah. well, it's fair if the, no one starts on base. The, the, they start the, in the yeah, they're both, they're both there. Yeah. Three day, easy I mean, I think, I think that'll bring in some interesting strategy, like you said, depending on where they're at in the lineup. Like yeah. If the White Sox have Encarnacion at the plate, and you have whatever runners at second, I'm not sure how, who gets to yeah. be that runner. But, like, let's say, do you pinch hit him for Adam Angle and have Angle drop the down one? And then the sack exactly, yeah. score is over? Exactly. The ground ball I feel like that's what you're going to see a lot, you know, happiness. Like, I think the bunt's going to start coming back, you know. I hope you, so. I, like I mean, that's I like cool. Small ball. I, like I small do, small too. Ball. I'm, I'm not, uh, I, like, I, like, I see, like, all these talks, like, the home runs, the thing. I'm like, small ball. I mean, that's got, that's how you're going to win these close games, you know? Yeah, It's going to be those singles, bunt, sacrifice. It's going to be those sacrifice plays that really come down to it. Yeah. Speed's going to kill with stolen bases, stolen bases and stuff like that. It'll be interesting. I mean. I, I don't see why they did it. Like, I see why they did it. I don't think it needed to be done, but now that it's here, I'm I mean, not going to complain about it. I, I mean, think it's, a, isn't this like a testing? It'll be interesting. Yeah, no. I mean, it's a shortened season anyway. You know, there's going to be an asterisk for whoever wins yeah. it or whatever happens at the end. You're going to join the Astros, but, you know, with their uh, asterisk. We, we'll get to them later. But, um, <laughs> yeah, no, I, 
Anything else on the White Sox start, uh, Cubs start? What the hell was that, Kev? Yeah, you gotta get, get your chains off the floor. Dude, yeah, you, you, you gotta get yourself together. That's my keys. Oh, yeah. you're, yeah, you're you're oh we're robbing oh, okay. him now. Oh, okay. Yeah, we gotta, we gotta watch Kevin. He just <laughs> digs into your pocket and will take your money. Watch, Put your uh, wallet on your uh, left geez, pocket, Andrew. Just, just toss that. Okay, we're gonna shift That's dynamics here for a little bit and shift it on over to Manny, talking about the NHL and the Blackhawks game one. Let's talk about that for a quick second. In my opinion, this was more bad oil, Oilers and then than good Blackhawks. As we can see, Connor McDavid, probably the best man playing hockey right now, unarguably. Uh, only had three points. He had the opening goal. He had two assists. Uh, pretty much all the Oilers have is them and Leon Dreisaitl. I mean, uh, that's I mean that's it really. I mean, what kind of de- what defense do they have really? Honestly, they have, they have, no, they yeah, Smith no. didn't look too sharp in that last night. No, um, or yesterday afternoon, whatever. It I was. mean, he was. Taken out in the second in, or second on period. Yeah, I mean, you know who did look good? Dominic Kublik. Oh yeah, five points. Third and rookie finalist for sure. For yeah. sure, I, that was that was big. I mean, I I turned on the game. Lucky enough, I was I, I rushed home, you know, from from a baseball thing I was at, and I got to see the the opening, you know, period. And I think we committed a penalty like a minute in, and it was for too many men on the ice. And yeah. Like, oh god, like this is it. Either they got lazy. I'm not sure exactly what happened. Yeah, no. But it was six men on the ice. I was like, oh, that's it. And then Connor McDavid, their star player, scores on the power play. I'm like, oh, jeez. This is how it's going to go. We kind of get, get uh, got bailed out with a penalty from the from the Oilers, you know, and then we convert on our power play. Yeah, did no. Did Kublik score the first one? No, Taze did. Taze did. Taze scored the first one. Yeah, yeah, one timer. Right. Yeah, 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 two goals. Um, I and mean, then we came back, punched them right in the mouth, and then they couldn't stop us. It was an awesome. No, I mean, we were. We, I mean, we convert on a power play. Something that we have been really struggling to do. I mean, that's what something the Blackhawks have always struggled to do, even through like their dynasty. Yeah, really. They were pretty good on the power kill, but their power play always yeah, yeah. wasn't there. Absolutely. I mean, to see us score two goals on the power play, like this series was huge. It's just nice to see that that's finally coming to fruition. Right. Do yeah. you think the Blackhawks getting off to a fast start is the key to winning? I it has to. Yeah, I mean, one older. I, I mean, you're gonna need that momentum. You know, I mean, with no momentum right now, any momentum you can get through these games, you're gonna need to get. I I just want to say that is the deepest question I've ever heard. <laughs> I mean, I mean do, do the Blackhawks winning game one really give them an advantage? Yes. No, yes. Like, <laughs> a fast start in a game. I meant. Like, okay. In every game well, they play. Okay. In every game. Obviously, because they they scored four goals in the first period. And no, right. obviously that. I helps. don't think that's gonna happen every game. But no, I mean, but like I mean, getting off to a fast start will help them. Absolutely. Because they're getting well, older. What will help them more is that the Oilers were invisible. Yeah. The no, they guys, were. The big guys didn't show up. No, I mean they only, they had forty something hits. I mean, for, the, for any team playing play the Blackhawks, they know you can just pound us into right, the right. ground. I mean, that's how back in twenty thirteen, how how we almost lost to the Detroit Red, Red Wings. They just pounded Taze and pounded our guys because they knew they could just shove us around. Right, we're that's, more about speed. We're finesse and, and speed. Know, finesse and that's speed how we dom- dominate the dynasty. Right. But as we get older, we lose that speed and lose that finesse. Now, another thing I really liked out of game one was Corey Crawford. Like, Manny and I were it's going back see and forth over time. Yeah. And, you know, he mentioned all goalies are cold. And, you know, Mike Smith was cold, obviously. A couple times he got hung out to dry where they, he had no chance to stop it. But Corey Crawford looked really good. No, he, he made did. some huge saves. No, 100%. In the game. I missed the third period, so I have no idea what happened. But he made some huge saves. No, he and did he looked in. So, I mean, he's key to our playoffs. No, he is. Absolutely. Because he bails out the defense that's basically, like, a shell of itself. Right, now. right, right. Duncan I mean, Keith, Seabrook's, I mean, he's Seabrook's not even playing. Out. Yeah, Seabrook's I out. mean, Duncan Keith is, like, two miles an hour. It's, like, riding my bike. Yeah, no, he's he's slow, but he can still play. Like, we need that veteran leadership. That's the last thing no, I want to mention is. about the Blackhawks, is I think we have a really dangerous combination of veteran talent between, and veteran experience with, you know, three Stanley Cups for Taze, Kane, exactly. Crawford, and two between Saad. You know, we have a nice mix of veterans, and then obviously young players. Kirby Doc, the third overall no, pick from last Kubelik, year. No, Kubelik, obviously. Kubelik, you, you got know, the Green Kids, Jerome, right. all those guys, you right. know? So I think we have a really good mix where our veteran guys can kind of show our younger guys the ropes. And it's great because we have really no expectations. No, we don't. Guys. And if we get so to the like, playoffs, you know. I mean, this is like playoff like hockey. No, it is playoff like hockey. hockey. So, I mean, they look, all, all the young thing, guys looked really comfortable. The only thing that really sucks is the Blackhawks win, the Oilers lose, and then they get the first overall pick. Oh, um, shut up with yeah. that lottery. I mean, but, but why wouldn't you just want to take, like, an easy cup if it's presented to us? We yeah. shouldn't be here. We shouldn't be here right now. We got lucky to be here, so you might as well say The Montreal Canadiens shouldn't be here. I mean, they won game one against the Pens. Yeah, I have no idea how that happened. I mean, I mean, you know, they went Price too. Beat. I mean, that, I mean exactly. It was, it, was an overtime, it was a breakaway. That's true. It was a breakaway, yeah, no. Overtime loss. Yeah. That'll hurt, but... Yeah, anything else left in hockey to talk about? To discuss? I mean, no, not really. Kevin? I mean, we're going to see back. He, on Kevin's our big hockey analyst. Yeah, he, he, he talked the whole time. That, that, was, a great, that was a great question. Game two. 
Or okay. we'll lose at Blackhawks. Now we're going to be playing in Edmonton, 9.30. Okay, we'll, we'll go back to uh, baseball. We'll give Andrew <laughs> oh uh, the, the stage to talk so about Joe Kelly. Joe oh, Kelly, yeah. eight Thank games you. passing against the Astros. No, 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 no. no. Wrong, wrong, wrong Kelly. Wrong Kelly, Come on, Manny. Easy. Big Kids news in the MLB. The <laughs> biggest story of the MLB. And this is sure. the biggest story of the year. You know, when sports oh. got back, MLB like took it over with the stage. They sort of went silent for a little bit after that first week. You think they went back silent, you know, with all those other sports coming back like the NBA. Definitely more of a competitive scene right now than right. MLB. Right. And it just came right back with Joe Kelly. Serve, getting served an eight-game suspension for... In, not really intensely, but I think it was sort of intentional. Oh, intentionally. I mean, 3 0 count, you just wail like a fastball. I mean, why not? Alex Bregman, screw him. Right. But I mean, hit with an eight game suspension for taunting Astros G- players. I mean, G in the World Series. If you're going to send a message, though, wouldn't you want to do it on the first pitch? I mean, no, because it's 3 0, you're going to think you have an easy walk, you know? Might as well just peck the guy and get him He's going to go on anyways. I mean, Joe Kelly's like. Has some of the worst control. I mean, did you guys see that base or the um, Instagram video where he, he was trying to lose his oh, and chain he threw it into the window? Threw, it threw it into it. He yeah. had a huge cage, dude. Yeah. yeah. It threw it into the window. Yeah. I'm not a huge Joe Kelly fan. I like his character now after this. Yeah. But I mean, I don't think he's a very good pitcher. But no. That's just me. Exactly. Um, if he was a little bit like um the Reds pitcher, um Trevor Bauer. Okay. If you oh. had like the like the pitcher right, like right, right. like, the like him, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's not forget about the oh, I'm gonna throw the ball into center field. You know, if anyone can throw a ball <laughs> into center field, you're an automatic OG. I mean, um, but you know, getting back to the to the Astros, the, do you think that suspension's fair? I mean, do, I mean does anyone think that suspension's okay. fair? Okay, eight games, you didn't That's hit the guy. Right, you you hit the even boy. hit him, and he yeah. taunted. He he did some. I mean, do you see pitchers like? You suspended Tim Anderson last year for throwing a bat. Like, uh, it's getting soft. Every no, sport is. is getting That's soft. It, it, it sucks. Yeah, no, one hundred percent. I mean, it's just how the game's going. I don't think it should have been eight. I could see where they could suspend him for like maybe a game or two. A game or two. I mean, it's not. Gonna, it's it's hard because he he's a starting pitcher, so he has. You want to make sure he loses that rotation and it hurts okay. the team. You know. Yeah, that's true. That's true. I would do the I would do the the regular five regular five I mean, game. I, I, I just wish we could, like, take a step back in no. baseball history because baseball has kind of always had a way of policing itself. No. Like, immediately when Tim Anderson hit that home run last year and did the bat flip, initially I said, you know what, you got to expect a fastball coming at you. I no. mean, that's just the way no, that you would, that, I, would, I would expect a fastball coming right at my head. You literally spiked a right. bat into the ground. Right. I mean, in, a, in, a, in the fourth inning of a tie game, that really means nothing. And I mean, that's the thing. Baseball has always had a way of policing itself. If no, you do I'm something not. stupid, a pitcher's coming at your head. No. And I think, you know, that's the way it should be. A lot of people quit baseball because they're afraid of that ball. Yeah. You know, baseball players, they've been hit. They understand it's a part of the game. Freaking and if James you want to cheat in the World Series and take it away from the Dodgers. No, exactly. I mean, I, mean I, 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 like I said, I could see where the suspension would come in for that. I can, I can, I can understand I mean, if soft. I don't know. Exactly. It's completely soft. I don't like it at all. No, I mean... Well, I think. Well, I mean, they're all supposed to start anyways. So. I agree that it's soft, but clearly that, or yeah, clearly the commissioner, uh, what's the commissioner? Rob, Rob Manfred, Manfred. Yeah. He's clearly sending a message, because this is the yeah, first. Yeah, well, he's, he's sending a message like this will not be tolerated. I know everyone People hates the Astros. Yeah, but well, that's, you, can't, you can't be as petty. You're as sending a message. Yeah, exactly. You're saying like, hey, you guys are gonna do this? We'll We're not gonna put up with this. But why protect them? I mean, did you see any of their apologies from last year? No, they're yeah. all. BS. I saw Correa's. It was BS. No, uh, I Correa. Forgot Tuve. What was Correa? Correa. Tuve? No, oh, Correa. Was, Tuve. My Tuve. wife didn't want me to take off my shirt. Oh, no, yeah, that, no, that's a whole other issue. That, that was horrible. Yeah, that, that was with the cameras and the buzzers in their jerseys. But I think it might have been Correa who actually gave the only genuine one. But like I okay. saw Bregman's, I remember. AJ and he was like joke. essentially just reading off of like, I am sorry <laughs> for. Um, Cheating and stealing signs, like I mean, it was yeah, just no. written down and prepared, and there was no actual. I think Correa was the one who actually nailed it. Like it came from his heart. Like you know, we have this competitive advantage. We tried to use it. I mean, can you really blame us? And we are deeply sorry. Like we'd understand if they were, you know, reprimanded, which they weren't, which I still don't understand. They should have been taken away from playoffs. Like playoffs, lose some picks. Yeah, yeah. Let, let's let's get some. Let's get harsh penalties here. You know. I mean, really. I mean. Baseball, I mean, if you know what pitch is coming, so many guys drop out because they can't hit the curve. I mean, they can't hit the I mean, that's the biggest thing in high school. You know, I mean, for us, too, we play high school. I mean, we literally, there was a practice yeah, one dude. time where we literally sat there and each player went and took batting practice from a machine that was only pitching curveballs. And we still barely hit it. I mean, you know. It, I mean, it's that hard. It, it's tough. It's tough. And it's when you know what pitch is coming, 
I mean, it just makes it so much hitting easier. Hitting a baseball? What's harder than that? What's harder than hitting what a baseball? hitting a hole in one in golf? What about that? A 24, I did it last week. <laughs> Okay. A hole in one. Mini golf and no. Golf. <laughs> what about what about what about, deflecting a, putt? what about deflecting a puck? D- deflecting a puck. You just stick a stick out there and let it hit. It's Hitting a baseball hard. is it's way no, harder than that. No. Hitting a ninety-nine oh mile hour with no, movement. No, no. With if movement. it's so hard, how can everybody? Yeah, I know one hundred percent. My question was I just asked immediately. Would what? you stop mumbling and actually speak to the yeah, camera? No, I, <laughs> I said I regret asking this question immediately because we just went right into yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, no, we're, we're kind of <laughs> off track. We're, we're kind of on the schedule. So I'm going to actually pass it over to Kevin for our next right. topic, which shifts us to the NBA. Obviously, the NBA just restarted, and Kevin will be He's a bandwagon for, for every team. <laughs> that have. No, no, that's that's true. True. Let's even start with this. Maybe Very exciting. Team. Basketball started on Thursday. Uh, we had two games. We had the Pelicans and the We had more than two games Jazz, in the NBA. And then the Lakers and the Clippers. The Lakers-Clippers game was very exciting. The, both games were, like, that was a, that was, we could not ask for a better start. The he NBA didn't even watch the game. game. <laughs> okay, can you okay, not Let him talk. talk, let him talk. This is his minute. <laughs> we on, had we the last two this. games that were just, like, the best start you can have to, like, the restart of the NBA season. Okay, so now what do you think going forward? Like, who goes deep? Who makes the deep playoff run? Well, I can make my picks for the finals. My pick for the finals would probably be the Clippers because I know we're having oh, all these talks oh, about the Clippers. They have no point guard. He's going to say the Clippers and Lakers for the finals. I just said the Clippers. Well, the Lakers have no point guard. I agree with you. Matt, sorry, jumping. Matt, sorry. I'm sorry for cutting him off. Were you going to say Clippers, Lakers in the finals? In the finals? No. I was going to say the West. I literally said the West side and the East. Side. Okay, so the, the Clippers are so coming out of the West. Who's coming out of the East? The, the Bucks. Lakers. Yeah. Okay. Bucks. Okay. 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 Not, yes. okay. Nothing. That's I really do not see any team in the East that can put up with the Bucks. Like I understand, oh, everyone's on their high horse about the Raptors because I mean they beat the Lakers though. But does that mean the Lakers are a good team that are like gonna willing to beat the Clippers? I don't think the Lakers have it. Like I don't think they have the depth. Okay. Yes. Thank you. The Clippers are deeper. Wait, the Lakers don't have the depth. And we'll wonder. I'll tell you why. I will even. Play. I'll tell you what the Lakers do have. Okay, they have arguably the greatest player of all time in LeBron James, arguably. and they have two of the top five players in the NBA. I mean, if LeBron James that is so great, is Kawhi not top five best defensive player in the league? Is PG okay. not a top ten? No. He's top ten, top five. Do they have two top five? They I have said two, two top, top ten. Five. I said two top oh five. I didn't say two God. top ten. They have I three. Said two top five. Yeah. Okay, okay. How about the Clippers? Actually, there's no one. Have three top twenty players. The Lakers have two top twenty players. Lou Williams is a top twenty player. Oh, you got LeBron. <laughs> he is. He's a top twenty player. Yeah, yeah he's the best I sixth man in the game. One hundred. Oh, a sixth man. It means nothing. I come off the bench. I mean, you can literally, he's, you can be a sixth man. You sit out the first buzzer. You're coming in in fifteen seconds. Okay, oh, we understand man. he's not really the sixth man. He's stupid. But I, he's he not, is, there's he doesn't no start. way. But he is a top 20 player. No. Watch him play. No. Defensively, I'll give it to Nick. You put defensively top 20 player. What is defensively? Okay, defensively. That's not top 20 player in the NBA, though. What? Okay. But the, the clip. Okay, so then why didn't the Clippers beat the Lakers if they had such an it's off the night? Fir- it's the first really competitive game from the restart. Okay. And they were missing and Lou Williams yes. and Montrez Harrell. And why did the Lakers win? Because LeBron fouled Paul George at the end. And, it came and, out, it came out, and it came LeBron out. literally had the luckiest rebound ever. Oh, because the Clippers didn't decide to box out? Yeah. What happens when the, the ball bounced straight toward, towards them? No one boxed them out. No okay, one put a body give it, out. Okay. I yeah. mean, that's how you play basketball. Shot goes up, you got to get a body. I mean, you got to get a body. The reason the Lakers won that game is because they have the best player. It's because player. LeBron is because he just took over. PG. Right. He was he, he, he was PG. he was irrelevant in the he first three quarters, PG. which I understand. But then he decided to take over because he knows how big that LA game is. Because and he, he says, PG. I want to play. Okay. Yeah. He called PG. PG is the Kawhi greatest player. significantly outplayed LeBron. Yes, but they lost the game. You so know what? it doesn't you know freaking what? matter. LA lost to the Raptors, though. We'll see when the playoff time, yeah. when playoff time okay. comes. We'll yeah, see. no, playoff time is a different time. The, like you said, it was, you know, the first it's game back, but LeBron James will carry this Lakers team to the finals, and that's all I have to say about that. And your East pick I have a problem with because I think the Heat will make the finals. I think the Dallas Mavericks could beat the Lakers if they really want to. Chris Rodriguez and Luka Doncic. I, that's my upset for the. That's my upset. Yeah, they're gonna make the finals. I well, no, not I think the it finals, depends what the Lakers. I though. think it depends what round okay. they play the Lakers in, though. Cause what if the Lakers are the ones? No, exactly. What is Dallas' seed right now? Seventh. Seventh. Right. 
right? There's seven spots. No, Memphis, Memphis right State, now right? they would no. play the Clippers. Currently, in the first round, the Mavericks are uh, the seventh seed, so yeah, they'd be playing the Clippers. Right? Okay, I Memphis honestly State. think I know the Lakers will probably get the one seed, but honestly, if the Gri- yeah. if the Grizzlies. I, I, is that even possible for the Grizzlies to make it? Yeah, they're in yeah, the they're eight seed. seed. They're fighting off. All yeah, the but the Mavericks would have to lose like eight straight games. That's, and that's and the Grizzlies would have to win one. But I was going to say, if the Mavericks could play the Lakers in a first round matchup, like that would, would be well. tough for the Lakers. I think they play well. I think Chris Rodriguez would give Anthony Davis a hard time. I think LeBron would have had three games. If the Lakers play the Grizzlies, yes. The first I'll, round I'll Lakers. I'll admit that's a tough matchup just because of Porzingis' size, but he's not as physical as Davis. Like, no, Davis I agree. And, 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 and Davis has more. Um, right. Davis is just a lot better yeah. overall. I, but like, we I'll, have, I'll give you the I'll give the Mavericks props. I like them. I love Luka and Kristaps, but they're not going to be the No, I, I, think they, I think they get like around their first game, but after that, it's just over. But I was going to say, we have yet to see Luka be a beast in the fourth quarter. Oh, like clutch wise, yes. like coming out. No, I agree. He hasn't like performed in the fourth quarter like an NBA star. Right? He, but he's just scratching the surface of his potential. Right. Though. He's like you'll see that. Yeah. He's, young. He's, he's really young. Like, but he's a great player. Mm-hmm. Um. But again, I, the Lakers are my pick, and for multiple reasons, the biggest being LeBron James, and he might not even be you the know, best player on this. If team. If Rajon Rondo would have stayed healthy, I'm telling you, I'd give it to the okay, Lakers. They have LeBron James. Though. And, and they have their defense, Bradley. though. That's their defense. Who's their he point guard right now? Um, LeBron, well, okay, LeBron's their point guard. Catavius, Powell, Pope, and Quinn Cook. Those are your two point guards. Okay. Yeah, well, LeBron Quinn Cook can shoot. Starting, he's right? a streaky he's... shooter. The, the, oh, oh, that's like two don't get me players, started right? on JR. Quinn Cook? Quinn yeah. Cook can play. Do not disrespect no, him. He can I'm play. I'm I watched, him. I'm disrespecting him. I watched him on the Warriors. He can Why? play. Because he's a warrior? No, he could play. He definitely, he's got skill. <laughs> and KCP. He's, he's not solid. starting, though. He's not starting potentially. He's not going to beat Rajon oh, Rondo. He comes off the bench. It doesn't matter. He's LeBron not. He's James starting. the point guard of that team. Yes. LeBron's the I point guard of that team. It okay, matter. so when the point guard matches up with Catavius Caldwell Pope, let's say like a point guard like... Who, like Luka Doncic came up against you, Catavius Paul. I, I'm sure LeBron James would be guarding him. In this you think so? I mean, they're essentially the same thing. They're point okay. forwards. You know, they both play the no, three. Right. They both play the one sometimes. So I mean, they're essentially the same play. But I mean, you have a bunch of guards that can rotate in there. You have Dion Waiters now, who looks okay to start. He does. J.R. Smith, as long as he doesn't forget to score, <laughs> he'll be good. I will still <laughs> never forget that moment. Um, they have KCP. I think he's a solid guard. Quinn Cook. You're, I'm, I'm you're, on, you're on crack if those two guys are solid guards. In your They're team. solid backups. I mean, they don't need to be in the starting lineup. What's the Lakers starting they lineup? They might end up being if JR forgets to score again. I mean, I don't even know if JR starts, but LeBron James, Anthony I mean, Davis, yeah, Kyle Kuzma, JaVale McGee, and JaVale McGee. I'm, I'm telling, telling you, any other one of those guards. I'm telling you, for the West, if you're going to play the Clippers in the finals, or even, or yeah, in the West finals and in the NBA finals, they're going to need Kuzma to step up. No, they will. Like he did he's, against the Clippers. He's going to need Kuzma to score 20 games. Kuzma outplayed LeBron against the Clippers. 100%. Okay, yeah. And they're going to need And him. it's the Raptors, too. Against LeBron the Raptors. LeBron and AD are not going to be able to do it by themselves against right. the Clippers. Yeah, or the Bucks. No shit. They're or any team in the East. They're right, they're going to key on them. So Kuzma is going to be a huge no, factor. No, I agree. Um, but when that's what they have right now. He's their third three. Their 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 three. they had to give up Ingram. To get well, I'm AD. saying if you switch to Kuzma, get Kuzma to them instead. You know, kept oh, playing Ingram. Yeah. Well, I mean, but then does Ingram really develop that well? I mean, that's a question. Yeah, that's a question. And he's not as good defensively. No, he's not. He's, um, but he's he's kind of become a waste quite an offensive player. Yeah, I mean, he's solid. It's his last year for the Pelicans. It's going to be key to sign them next year. But uh, we'll shift to the East, get Manny involved. Because, uh, again, like I said, I don't think the Bucs are going to make the finals. I get Giannis is a superstar. Who's going to take him over, the Raptors? No, the Heat. I already said that, the Heat. I legit, mm-hmm. like, not enough. There's not, not enough. enough sides. Not enough sides? I mean, if you look at anyone in the East, and obviously you had Kawhi Leonard last year to stop uh, Giannis with that wall that Nick Nurse built, which I think teams will mimic. But you also have, now with the Heat, I think one-on-one, the best matchup you have with Giannis is Bam out of eye. No, I, I mean, He's a brick wall. He's, he's strong, the last good stop. And he's, he's athletic as hell, too. I mean, he's fast, he's quick. I think he's a little overrated, though. No, not at all. He's, uh, he's significantly really? underrated. He's you guys are acting old. like Giannis is the only guy that can play on the Bucks. When is, you know what? You Chris know, Middleton is an old star. That's when he comes back. Right? Okay, Middleton yeah. has to play well have for the Bucks to go to the finals. Oh, my. Okay. Yeah, but Thank was Chris man, Middleton? Man. You call yourself a Bucks fan. Was Chris Middleton relative? Was he relevant in the playoffs last year? Yeah. No, he wasn't. Chris Middleton he was not. He did not play well. He That's why they lost. The right. If if Chris he Middleton comes well. up big, it's yeah. going to be very tough for no. the Heat to beat him. But I think Jimmy Butler will and be on 
Or Joey Bowen's gonna be a key. He could be along guarding with, Giannis. You know what? I want to see how Tyler Hero does in this environment. I mean, I think he's he's he handles it great. I mean, he played at Kentucky. That's one of the you know premier programs in the in played like, in Wisconsin. In my I got a teammate out there that played against him from Carroll. Just want to say that. Oh, Have I ever told you guys the story or no? No, we'll save it for another oh, time. Okay. okay? <laughs> but uh, no, he he's a great shooter. I mean, he's a great young player. I think, and that's one of the keys to beating Milwaukee. Okay, they 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 guard the paint ferociously with the Lopez twins, and then you have Giannis, so you can't really get inside. So how do you beat him? You go no, outside. They have Kelly Ol- Olnick or whatever you pronounce Olenek. his name. Thank you. You know Olenek. he can he shoots fifty percent on wide open threes. No, he does. Tyler Hero shoots forty five. No, Tommy, 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 I just um, like a swag. And and uh, what's the other guy? Duncan Robinson. They can all hit from deep. No, exactly. And the Milwaukee, mind you, is zero and two against the Heat this year. Just wanted to point that out. One was an overtime loss. So it was yeah, I did see that. The other one, the Heat how, kicked the crowd out. How many days ago was the last time we played? It was a while ago, but it's still the same team. both of those games? Yeah. No, he did. Yeah. They lost. And he no, was lost. irrelevant in the yeah. first game. No, he was. He, he was scored 29 team. in that's overtime. That doesn't matter, though. You know, I mean, I understand the regular season. is. You know, if Eric wants to play back once once he's off but while being injured, it's going to be huge, too, I think. It will be. He, we, we have yet to see. The, the Heat have won 42 games. I mean, I, I think they're... That's my pick to come out of the East. So what do yeah. you want the Celtics though? Like anything? Just I mean, uh, they have enough size. They should. They don't. Like on paper, they look great. No, on paper they they are good. I mean, they paper. have Jason Tatum. He's seriously, the if star. they don't shoot it out of the gym, they will not beat the Bucks. I mean, I, mean, yeah, I, I think they, 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 I think they well. lose to Philadelphia honestly in the first round. Who? Who the Celtics? Celtics? Oh, they, they I can see that. Six. I could see that. I could see Philadelphia just knocking them out. Ben Simmons I mean, and um, I don't see Philadelphia going anywhere. Else. No, I don't. No, no. no. I Wait, see. I, I just want to establish this. You know what, show. Rocky? I absolutely hate the city of Philadelphia and their sports teams. <laughs> so I will not Boy, support them nor yet. ever There's root for them. I'm and sorry, I think they Philadelphians. suck. <laughs> I'm not sorry because you guys were not very uh, welcoming when. When our White Sox went to visit Citizens Bank Ballpark. I mean, so they that's were, a story was, for Oh, no, that's a good story, That's too. a good one. Oh, yeah. Okay, but back to you and the Sixers. I mean, I don't think they go... Or they don't go past if they beat um, the yeah, Celtics. first round. I, I, I see what with Indiana the Pacers. Raptors. I mean, they play Miami. I mean, they're not going to be Miami. I mean, if Ola Depot plays, though. I think he's questionable. He's questionable right now, yeah. They have good guard play. I don't think it's worth it for him to come back, though, you know, in this type of situation. Yeah, I mean, because, again, I think most teams, even in the East, are looking at LeBron in the West and going, yeah, or even Kawhi in the yeah. West. They're, they're a little bit scared and hesitant to really go for this. Yeah, exactly. It's like, do we even go for what? Do we even, it's like, do we really even have a chance? Yeah, if I was him, I'd, I'd rest up or whatever. If he I, really mean, he's had so many, I mean, he's had so many injuries, though. Like, you gotta think, he's like, a superstar. No, he is. He really I is. honestly, I, I'm kind of towards your heat pick, like, being, like, having a chance against the Bucks, but I think the Raptors have the best chance. Why is that? Their size, and they're I mean, good pa- shooters. Pascal Siakam. I mean, Pascal Kyle Siakam Lord is with, becoming. Uh, Pascal Siakam is an all star already, and he's becoming a superstar. No, he is. He was a superstar last year. I mean, he's, I think mm-hmm. he's coming a little bit into himself. I think this year he really exploded out since he wants Kawhi left. You know, he's a great player. I mean, there's no doubt about that. Um, um, yeah, I give. I, I, I am shocked the Raptors are doing this well. But the Heat average one of the most assists per game. I mean, they finally. Eric Spolster is a great coach. Finally gets Jimmy Butler to start learning how to pass because I mean no, in I'm Philadelphia and Minnesota and Chicago he was like essentially a black hole. The ball no, would be was. reversed and go to him and he'd go into his isolation game. Because he thought he's he learning the whole team. Pass. Yeah, no, right. He's the learning how to pass really and play in a system. Exactly. And I think that's what makes the. Heat I mean, the he never, I mean, what's, when he went to Philly, he was never part of that system. You know, he, yeah, probably no, was, no, he no. never he came in halfway to like get them there and he just because he didn't get there. That's a good point. But I mean, even on the Bulls, what did he really do? Nothing. I mean, he had nothing. He had nothing. Yeah, he, he had Derrick Rose. I mean, there was a cool story with Derrick Rose, like, mentoring Jimmy Baller and all that. That's yeah. for another time, but it's just, like, they had a pretty good relationship, actually. Okay. I mean, yeah, he didn't have much in Chicago. No, but like I said, that ball movement really in- encourages me to root for this team and pick them to be uh, – I don't – I just don't see the Bucks coming out of the East. I don't know. Sorry, buddy. Sorry, yeah, buddy. No, I mean, I don't even know if you're a Bucks thing, fan or not. Who is MVP? One thing, one thing, Wait. Oh, who's MVP? One thing you guys are forgetting. It's nice to have skill and all that. But what Michael Irvin says, you got to be boys in order to win. And that's what the Bucks have. They've already lost. What? And now <laughs> you got to have the chemistry. You got to be, oh, like the boys. Yeah, the yeah, boys. boys. You don't yeah. get boys. Oh, I get it now. I thought he was saying like boys as opposed to men. I thought, you were, ma- I thought you were making no, like no, a you got, Cowboys. Uh, you you we the boys. Yeah. This was basketball. <laughs> you got you to be brothers. You got to win and you got to learn to lose. Once you learn to lose, you become closer. You establish that chemistry, what, like the Bucks. What are you looking at me like that for? No, keep going. That's what, 
they won, they lost what in the third round last year, right? Yes. The and then the year before, finals. year before, they lost uh, in the. I don't remember. Second the round. Second was the second round. Yeah. Cool. They got the experience. They got the experience. They got the chem- chemistry, and like a good seed that's about turning into a great tree. You're gonna watch it happen, and the Bucks are gonna come Perhaps. out. Not only, not only in the East. But Who do you take NBA. that from online? Okay, okay, couple things. Michael Irvin. Michael Irvin. One, <laughs> one, <laughs> one, perhaps the Bucks just don't know how to win. I mean, that is a problem with teams I've seen. Even teams I've, teams I've been a part of. Clearly they, they, they do but know how to win defeat. because okay, they want to face the defeat. Okay, you got to face the defeat, and then you can become victorious. Okay. That's how it works. Oh, like, like, so you're taking this from a great cowboy. And you no, guys it's not just from a guy. Can I just say something for a second? It's not just from a guy. Yeah, you learn to learn. Wait, 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 then that's why. Right, they learn to, to lose. Learn. And what they do this year? Eight games. You have they to didn't learn do how to lose. How that about, way you can learn how, how about to How about the 2010 Blackhawks? They never learned to lose. They learned to lose one year. It was in the Western Con- or Conference yeah, Finals. How many games did they lose in those playoffs? Like two? So, oh, I mean, in like the whole entire thing in 2010? Two or three. They yeah. lost. They, I think they dropped one to Calgary. And they and then the rest were against Philadelphia. I think they 4-0, 4-1. They went four two yeah. and four three. I mean, they didn't really lose a lot. All right, that that's on their first cup. They won three two two other later. What happened in twenty eleven and twenty twelve? They, they did lost. get no. First round exit. Vancouver. You gotta learn they how to lose. Yeah. You gotta learn how to lose in order to learn how to win. What happened in twenty thirteen? Uh, round round two. They were down three to one. You gotta learn how to lose. You gotta learn how to establish that chemistry. You gotta become connected. You gotta become a family. Once you become a family, family once you become a family, there's you literally learn how to a family win. on the team. Where? <laughs> the Ed's and the Koopa brothers are on the same team. And Lopez. And the Lopez. Lopez. Yeah. That's no, why. They no, have the chemistry. Point. That's a good point. I'm just saying. It's not, it's not I'm just, just suggesting. Based, it's not based on skill, how many defensive players of the year or six man of the years you have. You got to learn. It's, it's about the inside. It's about the lack of chemistry. It's about, it's just more than just having okay, the Okay, those guys are they don't know how to win. That's all I'm going to say. You gotta learn how to lose yes. in order to learn how to win. Yep, that's Thank a good you, man. point. I think well, you know. I think Gary they've probably gotten never better. That. They've gotten better every <laughs> year true. since they made the playoffs. Right? For example, we never learned how to win. They exactly. lost in the first round. It's Next year proving. they met second round. Like, Maybe next year, year the finals, they, they'll go this to the year finals. the NBA finals. They could lose to the Clippers next year. Oh, that's so, when yeah. we're Boys, it's a five-step plan. They could lose, lose if we continue yeah. to get better every you gotta year. Progress. Oh, my you gotta God. Take They're the progressing. Learn how to learn. You got to learn. They are progressing. Their defense is better. Giannis is clearly like, getting like, better. Like, 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 like you're saying, Bo, fastest man in the world. When he, did he learn how to run when he uh, uh, first came out of the womb? I, I don't no. know, man. He learned how to fall. Maybe he can't run. He learned how to fall. When he learned how to fall, he learned how to get up. This is about the Once you learn how to get up, you become successful. Oh, okay. Jesus. That's what happened with the Bucks. That's going to happen with <laughs> the Bucks. We're going to run into freaking copyright issues gonna, with Michael Irvin. Uh, you're just regurgitating all the bullshit that you freaking spewed. I think it's bullshit. I only said one thing from Michael Irvin. Only said one thing from uh, Michael Irvin and man, that's Manny's it. getting philosophical. No. Yeah. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right Mr. Gallagher. <laughs> that, more, that's more time to take a break when Manny gets philosophical. Okay, so the next topic that we're going to discuss on the Wildcasters is the NFL, or some article released, the top 100 players is voted on by players, coaches, analysts, all kinds of different people. And um, we're each going to pick the most shocking thing about that list. So I'll start us off, and I think it starts right at the top. Lamar Jackson. No, di- no disrespect at all to Lamar Jackson. I mean, he had an absolute insane year, you know, throwing the ball and running it. And he led his Baltimore Ravens. Were they the? Did they have the best record in the NFL last year? Yep. Regular season. Yeah, they won fourteen too. Yeah, I mean they had an incredible regular season, and he was at the head of it. But I mean, if this thing doesn't include postseason, then I guess so. But Mahomes, even just skill wise, and Mahomes I he came a, back. He wrecked. Mahomes. Uh, Mahomes doesn't. Or Mahomes got the ring. And uh, Jackson didn't. So right there, I think you just put Mahomes in front of Jackson. I understand that Jackson won the MVP, and he runs the ball as well as passes it. I mean, they're they're two very similar. I didn't know Jackson's completion percentage was as high. Um, at 66, it's actually higher than Mahomes. Well, just by a decimal point or two. 
But um, I mean, Mahomes threw less interceptions, so he protects the ball. I think he's a little bit better of a decision maker. He obviously has a lot more yards. I understand that Mahomes has a lot more weapons as well, but um, I think Mahomes has a better overall arm, obviously, and Jackson does make up with, for that with his legs. But again, did he win? No. And that's really the thing that you get evaluated on most. So why is Jackson one and Mahomes four? No, I mean, I mean Mahomes yeah. stopped Tennessee. That was the juggernaut. That's true. Surprise out of his home. I mean, they took down the Patriots. I think the best. I think the Patriots were the best team coming into that playoffs, uh, just because of their experience, and you never can count out Belichick. Right, play. right. I understand. I mean, it's doesn't take out Brady and then just go in tough for a game. Wait, did you just say that the Patriots were the best team in the AFC? <laughs> yeah, going in, going into the playoffs. Yeah. No, yeah, that's that's a big question. <laughs> no. Tom Brady literally had his worst year. You know, going into the playoffs and going into Foxborough is something incredibly hard to do. And for a team with no playoff mean. experience, like the Tennessee Titans, I think it was incredibly hard for them. And they ended up doing the unthinkable. Oh. Did they win in Foxborough? They won in Foxborough. Okay. Because they were a wild card team in past yeah, three. And Tannehill looked okay. like an un- unreal terror, and Derrick Henry was too. Well, Derrick Henry's just Carey. the best running back in the game. There's no question about that, I think. But I mean, Patrick Mahomes being four and... And, and, and Jackson being one. I like Wilson at two. I do. I, I really think this is again, I think deserves. this is a regular season thing. I mean, it, so arguably Lamar had a better regular season. I know, but does that make him the better player? It's top 100 players. It's not based on stats. But it's or top 100 players of 2020. Going into it. Right. Or is it from or the past 2019. Season? Top 100 players of 2019. Or whatever no, it's 2020. Year. No, yeah, it's going 100. into so they already have the 2019 list, and Jackson wasn't even on it. Yeah. And so this is, yeah, just shut up. Yeah. Okay. Uh, just a quick announcement. We had some issues uh, with, with the visual. I don't think we care. I mean, this was supposed to be a visual thing, and uh, the camera shut off 12 minutes in. We had no idea. So this one obviously is in the form of a podcast. So we're sorry, and we'll try and get a visual out um, for the next week in our next video. But anyway, going back to it, again, my argument's very simple. Mahomes won. I think that automatically makes him the better quarterback than Lamar Jackson. So uh, we'll pass it on over to Kevin next. All right, so shocking thing. my biggest issue with this is Dak being, well, first of all, I agree with his position, but Carson Wentz not being on the list at all is ridiculous. I mean, so you want Carson Wentz on and Dak lower? No, I just want Carson Wentz on. So you don't even bring up Dak. So it's yeah. Carson Wentz. Carson being Wentz on the list, yes. Because okay. first of all, he took his team to the playoffs with literally T-C- no okay, receivers. Back, dude. Like one no side. receivers. Nelson Aguilar isn't a receiver. Jeez. He he's was got hurt the half the year. hands than freaking me want to make cookies, dude. I mean, he's a solid receiver. Alshon Jeffrey was hurt most of the year. He had right. no Deshaun. He had literally no deep threat. No, Nelson I Aguilar is not a deep threat. No. Alshon Jeffrey is kind of a deep threat, but. Not as much as I mean, Deshaun. Not as much as he was on the Deshaun Bears. is the fastest receiver on that team. That would have helped him immensely. And the tight end, okay, his tight ends were good. Right. And that's basically, but he Except carried that team. He's one of the best tight ends yes. in the game. That's all he had, though. Okay. That's I literally understand. all he had. But, again, I think it's players of 2020. And can we really count on Carson Wentz staying healthy? Because he hasn't for a full season. But he was healthy that year. Didn't he get hurt in the playoffs? Can't yeah. hurt. No, no, they only what? I thought didn't he get hurt last year? No, no, they only played one game. Oh, and they lost. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I guess he wasn't that good then. Okay, but they Dak didn't beat the Saints though. That was how Jeffrey dropped that pass. Right okay. at the end of the game, remember that? Okay. Yeah, no, that's a fair argument, but I mean, but he, but we're not just talking about the playoffs here. We're talking about the whole season. Right. right. And Carson Wentz carried that team. No, he was. I. I I get where you're I know, saying. I, I get stats wise, like Dak Prescott on paper was the better quarterback that season, but I think Carson Wentz, um, for as an actual oh, player. Oh, I definitely take Carson over Dak. Oh, there's yeah. no question about it. Plus, he but, beat Dak head to head to make it to the playoffs. Exactly. He outplayed Dak. Well, that's true. That, in the that's last game of the season, he he probably should. I'll agree with you on that one. He probably should be in the top 100. I don't think he should that be very high on the list because there are a lot of elite players. All around. I mean, I mean just take into Josh consideration. Josh Allen made it, and Carson Wentz didn't make it. I, come on, dude. So you want to kick Josh Allen out? I'm kicking it. Thing? He's not even a top 200 player, dude. No, no, no. That, no. That's a bit. He was no. my fantasy quarterback last year, and he carried me. No, he, he, he carried, carried you. He carried you the last two games, probably. 
Okay, fair enough. That's all I need. And well, I'm gonna uh, say that Carson Wentz, Wentz carried them. Too. Carson but Wentz carried the team, but honestly, if he did not have to play, or if he did not play the Redskins, the Giants, or no, he had played the Redskins twice and the Giants to go to the playoffs. No, exactly. Those are the two worst teams in the division. No, he is. That is. So you're but hurting still, Wentz. He carried. Case. No, so I'm just, just stop saying, talking. He's still yeah, hurting he's not, the team. You're hurting. You're hurting <laughs> yourself. Okay, well let's go back to Josh Allen. No, 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 no. Let me talk about Dak Prescott real quick. Oh, jeez. Okay, right. come here, we here we go. Here we go. This is Manny's spotlight. Here we go. Here we go. My That's argument is you guys aren't giving enough credit to Dak Prescott. Higher passing completions. The percentages. Who Again, did? he had Amari Cooper. And he's throwing okay. three Andrew. yards a pass. Oh, big one. <laughs> okay. I he had the... Okay. No, he had a be- he had a better, he had a better. He had a, he had a oh. better completion uh, rating. Then, then Carson Wentz, Aaron Rodgers, and Tom Brady. Okay, Aaron Rodgers he's is going to know. Whoa! Yeah. And he was number five for touchdowns. And, and. Don't tell me you're about to get into the Dak Prescott Brady argument because we're not starting that. No, he all's man he said was he was listing out the stats, Kevin. You need yeah. to get your panties out of a bunch <laughs> yeah. or in a bunch or whatever all the right. saying is. Okay, and listen to what Manny's actually saying, because he said he has a higher completion percentage. That's all he said. He didn't say they okay. were better or worse. Okay. I mean, you jumped to that conclusion, but continue, yeah. Manny. Pretty much, yeah, you guys aren't giving Dak enough credit. How come? I how, didn't say he wasn't was, good. I liked what Andrew said. I just said, said Wentz had a better season, because he had, he had, he what did more or less. The, 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 so you can make that argument. I what do you mean, so? The, 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 what, what did he do what, what did, after after the playoffs? After the playoffs, what did he do? The Cowboys didn't make the playoffs. Okay, want to know a fun fact? No mm-hmm. team in the NFC East has gone back to back divisional championships. Because the division's but... terrible. Right. That's what makes it even worse. That's true. <laughs> All right. No, you guys. With you the, guys are, the Cowboys guys. are clearly the most talented team in the division, and they can't go anywhere. No, they 100 have the most. Like they have the best offensive players. line in the league. They league. have a great. They have freaking they, Leighton Vander. They have three pro bowlers. He was hurt. He was hurt. He was hurt. How about Jalen They have three pro bowlers on their offensive line. Three. They. I will admit, they show like they didn't want to play something about them. They got and nailed. They, they got, got Amari. They got railed by the Bears. They got absolutely railed by the Bears. I was at the game. Yeah, you saw them get railed. Uh, nobody was saying that in the first quarter. I was, they, they I was watching. By, they lost by okay, seven points. They scored fourteen in garbage time, Manny. That, that doesn't matter. What? Yeah, no. They, they, well, no. So what? They, they lost Matthew to a man. Stafford. They lost to a man. Matthew that can't Stafford scores had his points twenty yards. BS. Yes, I ever calls him out. That game was thirty-one to fifteen. End of game, fourth quarter. They scored in garbage time. I'm, I'm not even they having lost that conversation. By seven. They lost by twenty-one because of garbage they time. Lost shut by up. Seven. Just shut up. They they lost shut up. By seven. Shut up. Check the score. I know they lost Check by the seven. They lost I know seven. they lost by seven. How can you judge oh. garbage time? That's because yeah. it's garbage. You no, you're down no, by twenty. No, garbage time is can, generally no. accepted. They should make a no, stat no, by garbage that. time, dude. They really should. Dax stats. Dax stats are padded because he had to throw the ball every fourth quarter because they were down every game. That's true. That's and amazing. they got obliterated by my <laughs> team. Aaron Rodgers literally destroyed them. They, 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 yeah. Yeah, they're good. They're good. good. They got yeah. obliterated so they're very good because they got railed by the Cowboys, or the, they railed the you Cowboys. You guys are saying he sucks because. The Cowboys lost by seven. He has years. half of his stats because of Don't garbage the Bears time. Have one of the greatest defenses. Yes. Yeah. 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 What are you saying? So what? You got? Why are you giving that crap then? Because he scores half his like he gets half of his yards in garbage time, dude. What about the Rams game? What about yeah? What so? What, yeah, one good game. Against a sub five okay. to nine, has, nine okay, and seven okay. Rams team. Without Gurley. Without Gurley. He, goes, without he Gurley. plays the Bears. They lose by one. Everybody gives him crap. But nobody, they gives, him, also nobody, nobody, gi- nobody gives him any credit when they beat the Rams. The Rams were nine and six they without later, Gurley. At, the next week later, they beat the number one team. Who? The Rams? At the time. At the, who was it? It was like the, the Seahawks or something like that. They did not it's beat a division the game. No, they did beat the Seahawks. They, they beat, in that, they really? they beat yeah. the Seahawks yeah. late in the season. Okay. Oh, but they play the Seahawks um, division game. That's it's division game. The one oh, thing um, I think Andrew nailed it on the head though with Dak is he looked a lot better on paper than he actually did. So when you talk about players, because they include his, 
It's garbage time. Right, and, you know, yeah. with the completion percentage, I know. They're like the Bears. They run a lot of screens. The Oregon Ducks do it. They run a lot of screens. And they were number five. You know, he was number five in touchdowns. Okay, and his receivers make plays. Amari Cooper's a Amari stunt. Cooper I get is that. a stunt, dude. But he's, yeah. like, literally, like, the ball is in the air for three yards. They don't take a whole lot of shots downfield. No, because, I mean, I mean, they don't have that deep shot. They don't have that deep Jack does shot. have a good arm, though. No, he's got a solid arm. But like I said, I think Andrew nailed it on the head. Manny's going to go with his dick and stick by his Cowboys oh, until stop. the cows come home. So, um, yeah, you know what? We're, we got to wrap up uh, this argument. We're running out of time here. They eat on and cheese. Yeah, they next do. Year, yeah, next year, they eat on cheese. That's great, man. They keep cheese. Do you know what Aaron Rodgers' oh. record against Dak Prescott is? <laughs> Four and one. You know what their record on the Cowboys is? Like 12 to Three of those games were in the playoffs. We're talking about regular season here, but Yeah, it doesn't matter if you can't get past them in the playoffs, though. Okay, we hit our time limit on that discussion. So we're going to end it there. No one really won that. That was kind of just a loss of brain cells for everyone, I think. <laughs> um, and we're going to wrap up... Josh Allen. We're going to wrap up the show with um, our MLB prediction uh, division winner. Josh Allen's not top 200 players. Just putting that out there. Okay, well, when we get closer to the season, we'll talk more about the uh, NFL. Thank you. Um, Andrew, why don't you start us off with your division winners? Oh, my division game. winners for this year for the MLB 2020 season. Let's get to it. I think the New York Yankees will ha e easily, handily take the AL East 100%. There is no doubt. I think Ken Bay could play a part, but they're off to a slow start at 4-6, so I don't think they're really going to be able to catch up and hang with the Yankees. Yeah, not for the division. No, they'll be in the playoffs. They'll be in the playoffs. They'll yeah. be in the wild card. Yep. Um, Central, you know, if the White Sox can pick up a little bit, maybe a little bit. I mean, Cleveland's, the, the Central's coming out a little bit weird at the start. I mean, Detroit's coming out hot. Cleveland started out pretty hot. Minnesota Twins are starting to obviously playing pretty good. If the White Sox can maybe get their pitching a little bit, or like the starting pitching going, or bullpen like stays consistent how they've been starting out, hitting stays, the hitting's been we're the top um, batting average. I think Minnesota's going to slow down a little bit, which might be hard. I think Minnesota might take the division this year, 100% central. I think Do the White, White Sox. Sox make the I think the White Sox make the playoffs. That's I'm going. I'm, I'm going to go with that. My like little. Indians. You're going to put them as your wild card. I'm putting the White Sox and Tampa Bay as my two wild card teams, and coming out the West. I 100% think that, um, honestly, I think Oakland takes it out of the West. I don't think the Astros come out, mm. you know? Um, I think their pitching is good. I think you can't really cheat pitching, really, because they can't really cheat with that. But I, I think you're underrated. Okay, no. I'm going to, let me finish with this. I think, I mean, have you guys, you guys have seen the stats of their, um, top, like their top three, Alex Bregman, um, yeah, three they're, terrible. they're terrible. I, I think Oakland takes the division. Yeah, no, I can agree with that. I mean, the West, I think, is a real toss-up. The Mariners no, are is. irrelevant. I even think the Rangers will have a chance to be in the playoffs. I don't know what's going on with the Los Angeles Angels um, right now. They'll be, in there. The they'll be in there. They'll be in there. You know, late, the later problem is not waiting for their pitching. Like, no, it's a better pitching, and it's a shorter season, so you might not see it. Um, I'm going to go to the National League now. Um, I think Braves when I easily take the East. They're just... Uh, sure. I, I, think, mean, I don't know about easily. I think the Nationals are... Well, you think the Nationals are going to be... I think they take the East. I mean, right now it's going to be weird just because of the coronavirus cases. Yeah. Like, Look how many more standings. games they played. Well, yeah, no, they like if your guy Soto can stay healthy and... Well, I mean, he got COVID-19. What are you going to do about that? Mm. Okay, well, I mean, that's not traditionally It's not traditionally sick. It's not like by the Blue Game type it's it's really scary. Scary. You're, you're out 14 It's games. a weird, you know, scenario. No, I think... So the East will be weird. No, I mean... The Braves are the best team overall. They no, should win. In, in, the, in the logical well, they, world, they, they should. They play like 10 more games than anybody. No, Manny. The Marlins suck. They have literally no one. They're the in a league. The Philadelphia Phillies suck. The Philadelphia Phillies suck. Philly suck. You the just only, like half their team has COVID. Anything can happen. Right. And the Marlins suck, and that doesn't change, you know, based okay, on the Okay, I mean, the Atlanta Braves are 7-3, and, and the Mets are 3-4, and four, so it's a three-game difference. And the Mets still blow gigantic leads. I'm, I'm, not, no, no, I'm not talking like about the eight-run lead. I mean, the Grom literally is their only player. Okay, let's talk about the oh, NL yeah, Central. Well, probably uh, the worst division in baseball. No, one hundred percent. No, one hundred percent. Most me the mediocrity of like baseball this year. This yep. the NL Central. Well, as it's early, but still. I mean, the Cubs are off to a hot start. I won't deny that. I don't know if we'll hold on to this long. I, the Milwaukee Brewers won't hang with them. Cardinals won't. Pittsburgh won't. Cincinnati Reds won't be able to hang. I think Cubs take that division. As, as much as I hate as a diehard White Sox fan, I'm going with the Reds on that one. You, I mean, I get why. I, I get. I want to say the I Reds. I do. Acquisitions. I, I like Alex Trevor Bauer. I do like, like the, the Reds. The Reds. I mean, I, I like the Cardinals. I'm a huge Jack Flaherty fan. I do too. I like, I like Tommy. That. Tommy Edmond. I like. I don't Michael think they have it though, hitting wise. I don't think they do. Um, they look really bad. No, they the do. Brewers. 
their only player is Christian Yelich. Yeah. Now with Low Kane out, I mean, I mean they don't have Yasmani Grandal either. They right. lost. They just lost him. And that they lost a hot start this year. They lost right. Mustakis. One. I think. Right, so I they're think, done. I think I'm gonna say I think the Cubs take the. Central. It'll be a toss up. I think between the Cubs and the Reds. I do. Obviously, the Cubs have a nice uh, advantage. They're three games ahead right now, mm-hmm. but uh, the Reds they're, they're pretty good. I know West, arguably one of the top divisions. I think this year. Coming uh, in, uh, in a dark horse sort of way. Arenado, Mookie Betts, or That's, I'm Mookie not talking about I'm, the Arenado. I mean, the Rockies are. I mean, the Rockies are off to a hot start. I don't think they'll be able to hand. I, right. lo- I like the San Diego Padres, though. I like Chris Paddock. I like the Padres. You think Bernard they're going to take the division? Didn't no, they just lose I, no, 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 no. They, no, Hazard's back. Uh, Hazard's back. He's been playing well. He's been slumping these past couple years, but he's been off to a hot start. I think, okay, I didn't think, I don't think I mentioned my two wildcard teams for this year. I think it's going to be Cincinnati and San Diego from the NL taking okay. two wildcards. I think winning division though, in the West will one percent be the LA Dodgers. No one's gonna compete with them. They're gonna be they're gonna be playing the long World Series this okay. year. One percent. And lose Jay McAdoo. Probably. No, 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 no. They still have Dave oh, Roberts. I mean they're gonna be playing against the Yan- or my Yankees or World Series from the e- or from the American League Yankees. No one calls. Okay. I think I think Minnesota, but they get railed by. The they always year. do. They usually they choke. Do. I'm not. Even, I only want to go into World Series. That's for another show. They have the Dodgers. Yeah. Mookie Betts throw to third base was ridiculous. Oh, I mean, anyone else? I mean, that how that was insane. He's got a kid. If we're gonna no, talk about that, can we talk about Kyle Schwarber's uh, uh, throwing? What? What are you looking at me like that for? Can we no, talk come about? On, let's finish the sentence. Talk Shut about? up. Let what? him finish his sentence. It was what the bottom, top of the ninth. It was one one. I can't remember who was at bat where I left the, but oh no 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 no, no it was because that's why I first it was the top of the tenth because the guy was on second whoever hit it uh, uh, hit it to Kyle Schwarber. He was deep. Kyle Shore was pretty much where, where the basket was. Literally perfect throw. Tom Brady did it. Oh, geez. All the way to Willie. Tom Brady oh, he, did. Wait, he didn't, all the way he to didn't Derek Prescott it? Man. He didn't catch Mahomes it? <laughs> no, no. It, was, it wasn't that yeah, perfect. It wasn't that perfect. It wasn't that perfect. Okay, okay. He threw it right to Willie. In perfect time, of course, it was the catcher for the Pirates who runs... Uh, like oh, one negative hurts. one mile an hour. You know, I did see it. that play. I did see that play on ESPN, which is like a highlight run going through. They missed. They missed the tag, but I mean, oh, so still got it. Yeah, so one, no, one was he was safe. out. He was out. The one guy was safe though. Who? The first no. guy. What first guy? They haven't seen a long highlight. Go on. Well, yeah, he literally threw him out. Okay, uh, so for like three hundred and. Hundred and so like they, 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 the they accuracy you has. need to have for a throw like that. You need a little bit of luck. I can do that. I it can do that. It was perfectly thrown. I can do that. I can do that. I mean, you honestly, no, I, if you're playing baseball you your whole life, like, I've had some pretty good throws in my career where, like, everything kind of just has yeah. to go right. No, I, I thought, like, I mean, that one Especially relay. from a guy like Kyle Schwarber. No, I mean, Mookie Betts, you expect that. No. Because he's an he absolute threw it, stud. He threw but it, like, it definitely takes feet. Luck. He threw it, it like, t- It takes feet. everything. That accuracy? It, it, yeah, it, that's it, luck. It's the, the luck. accuracy no, is no, luck. No, no, no. no it yeah, is because you have different wind motions. You've got the ball. If you come off, if the ball spirals off your hand or comes off your hand where it's like a spin, it's going the wrong way. Right. Uh, if the if he threw the ball like two inches to the left, the Cubs would have lost that game. I don't give a shit. Dude. Okay, wait. Just really quickly before we wrap up, does anyone have any discrepancies with Andrew's picks? I mean, I think yeah. Are pretty I think good. the Padres, like I said, I think the Padres are really good. I think they take the wild card. I, mean, the I, I think my only issue with his is I think the Astros have that division. You think so? I, I can see why. It's I want to see if they're they start to heat up. I don't. Justin I, Verlander's I, gone. Okay, no, he isn't. He's yes, not he gone is. for no, the he year. Is. He's gone. He's, he's gone, gone. He's gone for the year. No, he literally said that. He said it, but who has control in that situation? The doctors. It's gonna be like uh, Michael Jordan. Uh, you know, whatever the guy's name is, Reinsdorf, or uh, who's the guy he hated? Kraus. Kraus. You know, who? It's gonna be kind of like that, but the. Uh, Verlander is not Jordan, and you know, in days where health is at ultimate high, they're not going to let him play, especially in the shortened season. It, it, so they're going to show him down long term. He's old; they need him next year more. Than yeah, then this year. So he might come back in the playoffs if they're co- if they're competing hardcore. They might be potentially. Back. I think he's the, got a majority of these. I think the Twins are better than the Astros. Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah. So I, I don't think they're not in the same I don't think, division. No, but I, I, once they get to the playoffs, though, and like it's like a close call, I should play Verlander. He's healthy, you know. Right. Houston's definitely not going back for the World Series. No, no, I'm just saying, like, the playoffs, though, when they play the yeah. Twins. Shut up, Kevin. <laughs> All right, um, that was, that's pretty much it for our show, I think. That's yeah. pretty good. Um, Wait, there's he goes to the division winners? Yeah, yeah, I mean, oh. we're not going to, we, we've been on this thing for hours? Quite, oh. quite some time. The last thing I want to do, though, is with baseball, my buddy Jack Leo 
I always give him shit <laughs> about the Cubs signing Craig Kimbrell because he's oh off to my another God. historically bad start again. <laughs> and as soon as he wins to the Cubs, he is just absolutely the worst pitcher in baseball. No, 100%. So, Jack, I he hope you're enjoying that signing. He's, he's getting the win. He's getting the win. Uh, freaking a <laughs> third of an inning yes. with two runs and four walks is not getting the win. And you got to say one you inning got pitched to say with two runs. And and a, we're done. I mean, that's we're it. Done. That's we're it. Done. Thank you for listening. I hope you guys enjoyed. We'll have another one next week. Thank you and for listening to Wildcasters Talk Show. Give it up for Manny, Andrew, Kevin. And your boy Matt. We'll have Follow a new me. candle of the week next week. Oh, Follow yeah. me. That you will be able to see. <laughs> yeah, you will see. Follow me on Instagram at, at Easy Money Man. <laughs> all one word, all lowercase. That's right. Yeah, yeah, go hit them up. Hit them up, ladies. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. You know who you're looking for. <laughs> Peace out.